Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 107 Moment of Glory After the Cobalt King's death, everyone's fear was similarly dispelled. They all regained their freedom of movement. However, at that moment, there were only six members alive in the entire team. When everyone looked at the corpse of the Cobalt King laying on the floor, they all had expressions of shock on their faces. Even Gentle Snow was baffled at this result. Logically speaking, they should not have been able to survive through the fear state. So, just how did the Cobalt King die? However, when she looked at Sher Fong standing beside the Cobalt King's corpse, and furthermore, at the scant amount of HP he had remaining, realization struck Gentle Snow. Needless to say, Sher Fong was definitely the one who had killed the Cobalt King. The others were shocked into speechlessness. In such a situation, just what method did Sher Fong use that enabled him to kill the Cobalt King? Brother Fong, you are too awesome. You killed the boss even under such a situation. You are literally my idol right now, Blackie excitedly said as he looked at Sher Fong with worshipful eyes. The first clear of the hell mode of Dark Moon Valley. This was definitely a moment for excitement. This signified that they would be leaving their names on the glory list for all eternity. In the future, as long as there were players wanting to enter the Dark Moon Graveyard, their names would be on display for these players to behold and revere. At that time, they would become famous even if they didn't want to be. All right, quickly revive the others. Sher Fong, who was currently sitting on the ground, did not become too excited. He only pointed towards the members that had died. It was not nice to let them continue laying on the ground. At Sher Feng's comment, Gentle Snow finally managed to recover from her shock. She looked towards the only surviving healer, Xiao Yue, and said, Yue, quickly revive them. Xiao Yue nodded her head, starting to cast revival. Several minutes later, all the team members were finally resurrected. After Zhao Yuru was revived, she vacantly asked, Yue, was the team wiped out? Nope, we cleared it, Xiao Yue faintly smiled. Ah, as expected, it was still a team wipe Zhao Yueru shook her head, inwardly lamenting. If everyone present possessed a dispelling skill, then at the very least they would not end up being completely wiped out. To bear witness to a low HP Cobalt King obtaining victory in the end, Xiao Yue could not help but let out a laugh. If she did not personally witness the Cobalt King dying, she too would not have believed it. Hence, she loudly proclaimed, Sister Yueru, the boss is already dead. Impossible. None of us has a skill to dispel fear. Zhao Yueru said with confidence, even if we wait for the fear to end, the remaining members would not be able to get rid of the boss. If you don't believe it, look over there. The Cobalt King was killed off by Big Brother Yifong in the end. You don't know just how dangerous of a situation Big Brother Yifong was in at the time. He went all out in the last strike, intending to die together with the Cobalt King. In the end, he barely survived with only 16 HP remaining. Xiao Yue pointed towards the corpse of the Cobalt King in the distance. Admiration in her voice as she recounted Sher Feng's feats. Zhao Yueru turned her head around. Sure enough, it was the corpse of the Cobalt King. Zhao Yueru tilted her head, her beautiful eyes sizing up Sher Feng's back. She discovered that Sher Feng was truly a mysterious person. The way he had commanded the team before was as if a veteran general of many years commanding his team. Every line of command he gave out was extremely precise and even the positioning of each member was clearly stated. Just how was he an independent player? Even a team leader of a guild who often went dungeon diving would not be able to replicate his feats. Sher Fong was simply inconceivable. Now, Sher Fong had even landed the final strike that defeated the Cobalt King, his strength powerful to the degree of leaving others speechless. Observing capabilities, commanding capabilities, battle techniques, Sher Fong was practically standing at the peak in all these aspects. Sher Fong had broken every understanding she had of him. Truly an evil bastard, Zhao Yueru lightly bit down on her lips, her heart filled with displeasure as she looked at Sher Fong. She felt that Sher Fong was definitely toying with her. 
She could not help but wish that she could give Sher Fong a few bites to relieve her anger. However, Zhao Yueru only had thoughts of doing so. She would not truly carry out such an action. Only after everyone had gathered did Sher Fong begin to tidy up the loot from the Cobalt King. Looking at loot, each and every one of the team members anxiously waited for Sher Fong to complete his task. These things were all items that only dropped from the boss of the Hell Mode of Dark Moon Graveyard. Every one of them was completely priceless. I'm done arranging them. There are a total of eight pieces of equipment and six other items. Amongst these are two pieces of secret silver weapons, a level 5 greatsword and a level 5 shield. There are also two independent pieces of secret silver equipment. One is for clerics, the other is for swordsmen. The remaining four pieces of equipment are all pieces of mysterious iron set equipment. We will decide by rolling if more than one person needs the same piece of equipment. Sure Fong gave a general introduction of the items. At the same time, he shared the information for everyone to observe. Runic Sword Secret Silver Rank Two-Handed Sword Level 5 Equipment Requirement Strength 30 Attack Power plus 45 Strength plus 9 Endurance plus 8 Attack Speed plus 1 When attacking, there is a 10% chance to cause a heavy impact effect and 10% armor destruction effect. Runic Shield Secret Silver Rank Level 5 Equipment Requirement Strength 23 Defense plus 69 Block Rate 35% Strength plus 6 Endurance plus 10 Additional Skill Tough Shield When activated, reduces the damage taken from the front by 30%. Duration of 10 seconds Cooldown 2 minutes Everyone was stunned after seeing the attributes on these equipment pieces. Every piece of equipment was a top-tier item. Amongst them, the runic sword and runic shield were the absolute best. If they were to be sold right now, they would sell for 80 silver coins at the very least. However, they definitely would not sell any of these items. With good equipment in hand, they would have an easier time leveling up later on. Only an idiot would be dumb enough to sell them. Following which, everyone on the team began madly rolling for points as they competed over the equipment. In the end, the runic sword fell into the hands of Gentle Snow, while the runic shield went to Kola. Sure Fong also obtained a secret silver pauldron, greatly increasing his attributes once more. Then next would be the other items. We will hold an internal auction for them. Highest bidder wins, Sure Fong said. Hearing Sure Fong saying so, the members of Ouroboros felt slightly embarrassed. They knew that the worth of the other items surpassed these pieces. It was especially true for that dazzling broken blade called Ash Blade. Just judging from the introduction of that item was enough to excite a person. Moreover, there was also a piece of advanced whetstone recipe and a few more rare materials. Every one of them was priceless. However, if it were not for Shurfong, just how would they be able to even clear the hell mode of Dark Moon Graveyard? Furthermore, they had obtained so much top-tier equipment, greatly improving themselves. Right now, they were already leading the other guilds by a large margin. So, how could they not feel shame fighting over these items with Shurfong? Gentle Snow had naturally considered this point. Moreover, she had wanted to pull Sher Fong into Ouroboros herself, so naturally she had to deepen her relationship with Sher Fong. Hence, she looked towards Sher Fong, taking the initiative as she said, We were only able to conquer the Dark Moon Graveyard due to your great contribution. We have already received enough, so the other items will all belong to you. I can't even begin to thank you enough. The other members of Ouroboros all nodded their heads in quick succession. Sher Fong was slightly astonished. He did not think that Gentle Snow would actually give up on the auction. Although, he also was not afraid of having an auction. He had plenty of gold coins inside of his bag, enough to buy out both the advanced whetstone recipe and the ash blade. Since Gentle Snow did not wish to compete, he naturally would not refuse her offer. He stowed all of the items into his bag. With the dungeon conquered and the loot distributed, Sure Fong walked towards a corner of the mausoleum. He then activated the mechanism to trigger the teleportation gate. Everyone walked into the teleportation gate, disappearing from the large hall of the mausoleum one after another. 
just after everyone had left from the Dark Moon Graveyard, White River City Region System Announcement. Congratulations to Ouroboros for becoming the first team to conquer the Hell Mode of Dark Moon Graveyard. All players within the team will be rewarded with 10 reputation points in White River City. Red Leaf Town Region System Announcement. Congratulations to Ouroboros for becoming the first team to conquer the Hell Mode of Dark Moon Graveyard. All players within the team will be rewarded with 30 reputation points in Red Leaf Town. System. Congratulations to Ouroboros for becoming the first team to conquer the Hell Mode of Dark Moon Graveyard. All players within the team will be rewarded with one mysterious treasure chest, 50,000 EXP, and 10 glory points. 